uh, Kyogyo Shinsho. Um, and he quoted the passage from one of the seven masters, Shantao's hymns of the hymns of birth in appearance, Ojo Raisen, in this writing. So please join me, Gasho. To realize Shinjin in oneself and to guide others to Shinjin is among difficult things yet even more difficult to awaken being everywhere to great compassion is truly to respond in a gratitude to that benevolence. Nanchu Jishin Kyo Nin Shin Nanchu Ten Kyo Nam Dai Hi Den Fu Ke Shinjo Ho Button. So um, many of you might have seen this wonderful news already. About um, a month ago, our Jodo Shinshu organization, um, the Buddhist Church of America took a part in a historic first celebration of Besak at the White House. In honor of the occasion, President Biden issued following official statement from the uh, White House. So you can see this quote, uh, the statement on a, a white, white, uh, white House website as well. So I'm just gonna read it. Jill and I extend our warmest wishes to Buddhists in the United States and around the world as the celebrate Vesak, the day honoring the birth, enlightenment, and the passing uh, of the Buddha. The ceremonial writing of the lamp, the symbol of the holiday that has been celebrated for over 2,500 years reminds us of uh, Buddha's teaching of compassion, humility, and selflessness that endure today. On this day, we also commemorate the many contributions of Buddhists in America who enrich our communities and their country as well all was together toward a um, brighter day ahead. So um, White House celebrated the Vesak with the uh, second gentleman, uh, Douglas M. Hoff, the lighting a candle in the White House, representing the Theravana, Mahayana, and the Barayana traditions. So this occasion also marks the first time all of the traditions come to, came together to celebrate. The lamps are lit and the prayers were offered by the representative of each of three major Buddhist traditions. So our own BCA Bishop, uh, Reverend Marvin Harada participated on the behalf of the Mahayana tradition. For the first time in a long time, the Buddhism has uh, gained widespread notoriety in the United States. So um, after today's service, uh, we will holding the discussion on the topic, uh, how, how do we explain the being a Buddhist to the non-Buddhist? So as many of you know, over the past century, the Buddhism, the fo um, Buddhism focused on the meditation has been growing in uh, popularity in the West. And now the White House has held an official commemoration of a Buddhist celebration. So with more and more people aware of Buddhism, so it is time to prepare ourselves to be able to explain Buddhism in Jodo Shinshu to the people who are interested in. So how do we explain being Buddhist to the non-Buddhist? How do we explain being a Jodo Shinshu followers to a non-Jodo Shinshu followers? Uh, what is Buddhism? So Buddhism is a Buddha's teaching. So telling others about the Buddha's teaching, it's called Dendo in Japanese. So Dendo is usually translated into preaching in Christian and other religions, but in Jodo Shinshu, it can be a bit different. Dendo's Den 
means tsutaeru in Japanese. So which means um, telling, informing, um, communicating. Do uh, is, uh, means uh, path or following principle in English. The most important things about dendo is not how well you share it or how much you know. So what do you love and want to share about the Buddhism? If you recommend the Buddhism, what would you like to share first? For example, if someone asked you, um, if someone asked you to recommend Japanese restaurant, like a sushi restaurant or something, so would you recommend a restaurant you've never been to? No, you would recommend your favorite restaurant and your favorite dishes like sushi or tempura or something else. So when we try to recommend something, we usually talk through our experience. We usually talk about something we really like, that's something we love to talk about. So my point is that if we are sharing something very important to us, we should really know about and to be interested in it. So to guide to others, we need to first understand uh, what we are guiding them to. Uh, what is, uh, that is why we need to listen. So keep listening. Listen to the Dharma, the Buddha's teaching. Listening is not just hearing the sounds. It is uh, to give your attention. So when I tell my kids to stop playing the video game, so they usually say, okay, and, but they will continue to play. If I ask them, are you listening? Listening to your mother? They will say, yes, but they will continue to play. So they are not really listening. Their listening is my voice as the only a sound. So it came from this ear and it came out from the other side. So it is not different from the like, just like a singing verse or so. So to really listen, you need to allow what you are listening to affect you, even in a small way. So teaching the Buddhism is usually a job only for ministers and then um, used to be, used to be, um, or usually um, for the, uh, uh, most of the other uh, religious traditions. So the teaching, the religion is the uh, ministers and the teacher's job. So the usually followers and the students are only allowed to follow what they, they were told. So this is uh, um, the layout for the many Buddhist traditions as well as um, many other religions. So however, this is not the case in the Jodo Shinshu tradition. In that tradition, Jodo Shinshu's founder, Shinran Shonin, had many followers in the center and the eastern areas of Japan. Many made long journeys for many months on foot to, to the, just to see him. However, Shinran Shonin never claimed to have a single disciple. Why would he say such a thing even he was surrounded by so many followers all the time? We know one of the, his disciples writing the, the Tan Nisho, the record in the laminate of the diverg di divergences, uh, we can revisit his words. For myself, I do not have even a single disciple. For if I brought the people to say the name Butsu through my own efforts, then, I, they, then they might be my disciples. But it is indeed preposterous to call persons my disciples when they say the name Butsu having received, uh, received at the working of Amida. After ordain or certain training uh, in the Buddhist Church of America, we call ministers kaikyoshi or kaikyoshi assistant. So they are um, in a liter literal tra um, translation of the words uh, kaikyoshi. Kaikyoshi, the word means one um, who transmit the Buddhist teaching. They are not spiritual different from anyone else. The rank or title that only comes from their training. So Jodo Shinshu teaching is transmitting Amida Buddha's vow. 
it is not about sharing something you discover or you created. And it is not about teaching someone below you. Ever our founder, Shinran Shonin, denied of teaching his disciples. All he did was transmit Shakyamuni Buddha's teaching and Amida's Buddha's primary vow, primal vow. He was a tool, he was teaching, but he was also listening to the Dharma at the same time as, um, with uh, his followers. There is another way to express the uh, significance of the Jodo Shinshu in teaching. There are people known as Myokoni. They are the famous pious followers in Jodo Shinshu. So Myokoni means the wondrous, excellent, excellent person. Some were poor people, some didn't have any education and could not read and write. The most Myokoni left behind very little writing, but created a great poetry expressing their gratitude to Amida Buddha. They were not ministers, they hadn't done any monastery practice or training, but they are still great teachers to us the present day followers. The Buddhists don't have convinced the people to become Buddhist. The Buddhism is different from most religions because it doesn't claim that the we are the one way. The Buddhism says that there are 84,000 ways to enlightenment. This means that there is an infinite number of the way develop and define their spiritual nature. It is important for human to find that the path that fits them. In this world, it's currently society, we tend to neglect our spiritual development, uh, which is very important to the human being. Buddhism emphasizes that human will never find happiness through satisfying their ma materialistic desires and that finding your spiritual path is very important. The Buddhism has many teachings that help us to see the truth and the many parts of the reality and the human nature that we cannot and we don't want to see it. It helps us foolish being realize our selfish, selfishness and how self-centered we are. There is the word in Japanese, zei in monpo, zei in dendo. Let's all listen and deliver Buddha's teaching. And they also the words ondobo, ondogyo. So as Buddha's followers, we all um, carry and then we all we, we are all friends. So let's tell the people about the Buddhism and then tell them what you like the best about it. So please join me, Gasho. To realize Shinjin in ourselves and to guide others to Shinjin is among difficult things yet, even more difficult. To awaken beings everywhere to great compassion is truly to respond in a gratitude to the Buddha's benevolence. Namandat, Namandat, Namandat. Thank you.